finance uh, is not as diverse as many other industries, is not as diverse as it was 10 or 12 years ago before the crisis, and is not making progress in becoming more diverse. And that in fact, the issue goes all the way back to um, these issues of, of bias, gender bias, unconscious gender bias, and that there's a lot of work to be done there. I'd say that some of the barriers that are keeping women from rising to the top, they're not being promoted. Yes, there are slates, you know, give me five candidates and I want a woman and I want a person of color, but if they're not getting the jobs, uh, it doesn't really matter who's on the slate. During the crisis and the years beyond the crisis, what I saw was not a you know, let's get rid of her, she's a female, ooh, cooties, girls have cooties, we've got to get rid of her, let's get rid of her, she speaks in a different accent, none of that happened. What happened was, I'd love to give her an opportunity, I would love to, but I need someone I can trust. And that person that you can trust, implicitly, intuitively, down in your bones, it just feels like it's that person who's like you. And so what the industry needs is for the boards, for the senior leadership to say, your gut isn't always the right answer. In fact, your gut can lead you to, put, to pick people like you, which can lead us to all think the same, which can lead to the false comfort of agreement, which can lead to a financial crisis.